why am I here on a student visa even though I'm already practicing as a registered nurse? My student visa here, how much did it cost? What are the requirements? First, I prepared the list of my utang. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Jana Girl. And today I'm just so happy because it's like my sixth vlog, and um, I'm happy that I'm being consistent in doing this because I'm very inconsistent. Unlike going to the gym, doing yoga, doing my homework, cooking, eating healthy. So this is just a thing that I've been doing consistently, and congrats for me for that. I hope you guys found something that you've been doing something consistent because it's really nice to have that thing. Well, uh, that was a long talk, but welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Jana, and I am an international student and a registered nurse here in Australia. For today's video, we are going to talk about my student visa here, how much did it cost, what are the requirements, why am I on student visa, and um, yeah, pretty much those things. And um, if you guys are interested about it, stay tuned and watch the whole video. But before that, I would like first to thank you guys for watching me. I have now 188 subscribers. Yeah, hey. And um, I know it's not a lot, but for me it is because it means that people are following or watching me. So thank you guys. So without further ado, let's start. Before I start this video, I just want to say that I am not a migration agent, so everything that I am going to share here is based on my experience. Okay, first things first, um, why am I here on a student visa even though I'm already practicing as a registered nurse? Well, the Australian government, they have this point system wherein they invite people with like 90 points, so that is quite high. And um, I am working my way because I only have like 65 points. So basically, um, working and studying here gives me another like 5 points. So that is the reason why I am back to school studying and um, working at the same time to gain more points to have an invitation from the government to be like a permanent resident here. Um, so how did I get my student visa? First, of course, with the help of Google, I did my research. Second, I asked my friends if they um, asked an assistance from agencies. And apparently, almost all of them said yes. So my friends told me that they have engaged with um, AECC, AMC, COCOS, IDP, um, what else? There's a lot, you just have to actually Google it and do your own research as well. But for me, I asked help from Ms. Pao, who's from JP Padlan Services. So, JP Padlan Services, um, specifically Miss Pao Padlan, um, she was really hands-on and keen to details. Um, all of the requirements that I emailed her, she checked it one by one. And if there's anything that needs to be um, edited, she sends it back to me immediately. So, if you guys are like looking for um, an agency to process your visa, I would highly recommend Miss Pao from JP Padlan Services. If you guys are interested um, in seeking help with your visa application, I will put her uh, Facebook page down in my description box so you can send her a message. So what do you need for uh, a student visa? Like what are the requirements? Um, we have personal documents and um, financial documents. For personal documents, you need your transcript of records, your passport of course, um, diploma for graduate students, your English exam like IELTS or PTE, um, your resume, your employment certificates, your birth certificate, um, marriage certificate if you are um, including your spouse in your student visa application, um, PRC ID ratings and certificate, um, subject description or syllabus, and of course, the very most important is the statement of purpose. Um, it's your essay. Um, for financial documents, we have um, affidavit of support, uh, valid IDs, bank certificate, and um, bank statement. 
income tax return, pay slip, um, employment certificate, business registration documents, and um, your relationship to sponsor. So after the list of the requirements, of course, I prepared the list of my utang joke. Um, it's the average expenses that you are going to expect when you get a student visa. So first is the medical insurance and it's uh, $1,250. It's quite expensive because you have to pay for the whole duration of your stay here. Um, second is the visa fee and it's $620. Uh, third is the medical exam. It's around $300. Your English exam, it's $350. This depends on how many takes that you are going to do because actually for me, I took PTE three times. So I spent like $1,000 for it. Um, your airfare, um, for me, it's $750. Um, it also depends on you. Um, my pocket money, which is um, $3,000. And um, my tuition fee, that is quite expensive because it's bridging program. So it's $17,000. So let's compute the damage. Where is my phone? So the total damage is... 10, 10, 10, 10. <laughs> $23,270 and let's multiply it by 34 to convert it to peso and it's roughly 800,000 pesos and um, the average cost of that is actually um, just an estimate because I took PPE thrice as I've told you and uh, my medical insurance was actually 4000 because i have my partner with me supposed to be he, he's supposed to be here so yeah so that is the damage 800000 pesos so for the tuition fee expenses um it actually depends on you on what course you are going to get so we have vocational courses here which um tuition ranges from three thousand dollars to eight thousand dollars this is going to be for the first three to six months of your stay here and um, we have bachelor's or master's which the tuition ranges from seven thousand dollars to fifteen thousand um, dollars also good for the first three to six months so this information was actually from Ms. Pao. She also gave me the list of the most common courses. So for the bachelor's or master's, so we have the number one, of course, nursing, um, master's in business, accounting, social work, and um, IT. And for the vocational courses, um, we have um, aging support and community services, early childhood education, commercial cookery and hospitality, traders like um, electrician, automotive tech, and carpentry. We have leadership and management and um, information system and network security. So um, you can um, actually study here with, I think, at least um, having 500,000 um, if you get like vocational courses so it depends on what course you are going to get um, just ask Miss Pao for more information so so that's it guys I think that is like my closing line so that's it guys Inulit. so yeah um, I hope this video has been informative for you so guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet it's not too late to hit that subscribe button and click like as well. Um, if you have any questions, just comment down below and um, I'm happy to reply. So that's it for this video. I am now going to eat because it's already 10 o'clock and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye-bye!